hello everyone welcome all of you in fix row so in this video i'm going to show you how to host your website on netlify see this is one of my client website this website is currently host on localhost so it means this website only i can see and i can visit i can show this website to anyone else if i want to show this website to other peoples then i have to purchase the hosting but let's say i i can purchase hosting so what options we have so we have a free platform called netlify so in this platform we can host our website let me show you so see this is one of my website let me show you if i visit here then see this website is loading so fast and if you have a custom domain then you can also connect the custom domain here so that's very good so i will show you now how to host how to deploy the website on this platform so first of all come to your local host come to your uh, wordpress admin panel clicks on plugins and clicks on add new plugins now here just simply right here stat simply static this is the plugin we are going to use this plugin will help us to generate a static file of our whole site so just install this plugin and click activate the plugin now here you can see simply static just uh, click here and now we need to generate the static file then we just need to upload the file on netlify then our this localhost site will be hosted on this netlify live server then you can share the link with anyone else and anyone can see your website so uh, this way you can just uh, create your portfolio websites and you can just host on netlify then you can show your clients or uh, anyone you want to share so just click here generate it will take some time based on your content size if you have a very big website then it will take some times but if you have a normal site then it will take some few seconds then it will generate a static file of your website here you can see the static file has been generated now click here to download the static file so now i will just uh, select the folder and i will just click save and see our static file has been downloaded now we need to import the static file on netlify so let me open my Netlify site. So here you can see this is my Netlify account. Here I have multiple websites. So first of all, you just need to create your Netlify website if you don't. So creating an account on Netlify is so easy. Just open a new browser tab. Just write down here Netlify. Then come to this site and then just click here sign up. Then from here just uh, sign up with email. Then just enter your email and password and then just create your account. And after creating your account, you will just got an interface like this. So now what I will do, I will just open my another Netlify account. Here also I have some website. Now what I need to do, you just need to click here, add new websites. You just need to come on this sites tab. Then just click here, add new site. Then just click deploy manually. Now what we need to do, we just need to import our file. Or you can just click here, browse to import. And then choose your Netlify file. I will just open my file manager. And from here downloads and this is the uh, zip file just drag the zip file over here and it will just automatically extract the zip file and it will just import the entire site now after importing the site I will just tell you how can you let's say in this website in this our website let's say here on this uh, uh, local host here in this local host we some made some changes let's say we add a new pages or we just did anything that we didn't before so is it will automatically import it on netlify so no uh, making the same changes on the site you just need to uh, create a, another static file you just need to come over here you just need to click here generate then it will just generate a new static file then you just need to re-upload the static file i will show you later first of all let's upload the static file here it only take couple of seconds or sometimes it can take couple of minutes based on your file size and internet speed okay guys so in this page it can take some time if it's taking some time then please don't refresh the page just uh, keep this page like this way and it will be automatically just completed so see our site has been completed now what we need to do we just need to see our site and and we just need to change the site's url address so if i click here site configurations then here you can see just click here and we can see our website on this domain and now we just need to change the domain see our site is same to same okay first of all let's change the domain i i will just click here now click here change site name and here you just need to change your site name then the domain address will be changed so i will just write here by high dot netlify dot app then i will just click save and our site will be saved 
Now if we just reload the page, then see site not found. But if we just come here and click here, now see our domain is transferred to this domain. This is our by high our website name and then we have the uh, subdomain of Netlify. And if I show you my localhost site, then see here we have this content. Here we also have the same content. And if we click here, then see it's just redirecting to this page. And if we just click here, then it will just come to this localhost page. So every single pages are same to same and everything will be work perfectly. Now let's say I have uh, changed some content. Let's say I have changed this changes I have deleted the sections now I just uh, want to import the site again on Netlify so if you made any changes or add new pages then what you need to do you just need to come to this page you just need to come over here and again you just need to generate a static file of your site and then you just need to come to this page and here you just need to click deploy and you just need to re-upload your site, re-upload your updated static file here. Just drag this zip file over here, then the site will be uploaded here. This is one of the cons because it will not just automatically update it on here. You just need to upload your site manually. Then you can change your website content. And later if you have your custom domain, then from the domain sections you can just connect your custom domain. Very easily. It will just take one or two minutes to connect the domain. So guys, little update. From now, I will just uh, try to keep posting more videos like this to practice my spoken in English and to improve my content creation skills. And yes, it will take some time to improve my quality content. So just give me some time. So I will definitely improve the quality of my content. So that is up guys for this particular video. I hope you guys learned something new. Thank you for watching and keep watching our videos.